hey guys hello everyone and welcome to the channel so this is a very important video a very important update and uh, this video i am making because there are a lot of confusion regarding the exam uh, regarding few points of the exam okay so i'm just going to cover up these things in this video and before starting it let me tell you that these all information everything whatever i am telling you has been verified from a student of physical sciences because you know the physical sciences uh, uh, like exam was there on the 19th of november right so they have already given the exam so from their experience i'm just telling you so it's like uh, whatever the physical sciences students have experienced so based upon that i'm telling you so the few points we are going to cover up the first one is like uh, what about the admit card what are the things which you have to already do before going to the center and the second thing is about the calculator because many of you told me that the calculator was allowed right so i'm just going to talk about that so the first thing is when you look upon uh, the admit card there is a section of it that is called as your self declaration section okay that is your self declaration uh, declaration section okay so in that particular section there are certain points which are there like uh, you have uh, whether you have few lakh like symptoms or not uh, then these points right which you have already filled while submitting a form when you were downloading the, your admit card you were about like you were asked to fill a form right a dialog box was there you have filled that form you have done all the like you have to take yes or no over there i have already told you about that in my previous video so uh, but when you downloaded the admit card nothing was mentioned over here like whatever you did over there uh, either you yes either you did yes or no it did it was not mentioned actually over here so the question is whether you have to do anything so as per what i have got to know that you don't have to fill anything over here okay just leave this section as it is it has to be done online uh, during your uh, downloading or admit card so that you have already done okay so you don't have to fill it if if in case uh, it is asked at the center to fill it so just do it over there quickly because you don't have to take anything over here you because you don't have any flu like symptoms right uh, then whether you have been in contact with some person or not uh, then uh, you have been uh, like uh, you have been under mandatory quarantine or not so these are the points which are asked you don't have to take them already uh, but if you have traveled different cities and if it uh, if it is asked at the examination center to do so then you can do it okay but according to what i got to know there was nothing asked about that uh, they were just allowed to enter the uh, like examination center the next point is regarding your uh, photo so this photo has to be pasted similar to the photo which you have in the application form now there are many questions regarding it that the examination uh, like the photo which was there in the uh, application form that has date and time so uh, or date and uh, like date of birth and the date of photograph or anything written your name and date of uh, photograph so is that photo applicable or can you paste any photo of you so you can paste any photo of you but that has to be recent that has to be identical to that should match that previous one okay it should be like not exactly same but yeah obviously it the photo has to be recent one then the next thing is about your thumb impression okay your left hand thumb impression this is like uh, see at the center you will get to see that there are many students who will not put this thumb impression so they are providing the the pad for that but uh, ideally you have to do it before going there okay so before going to the examination center if you have access to the thumb uh, like if you have access for the stamp pad you can just uh, like put your left hand thumb impression now the only point which th you, there you have to fill or the point which you have to uh, like do it over there in the examination center that is over here okay that is your signature so this particular part you have to do at examination center okay at examination center in the front of your invigilator because it's written over here the above undertaking has to be filled up in advance before reaching the center except candidate signature which has to be signed in the presence of invigilator so candidate signature you have to fill in the presence of your invigilator rest of the things like your parent signature you have to be like you have to take sign from your parents already before reaching the examination center and this thumb impression also if if it is accessible to you if you don't have any access to any thumb pad or anything uh, then you can take it like that probably your examination center is going to provide but it's not mandatory okay all examination centers are not not providing that but yeah like uh, i got to know that yes the person whom i asked on his examination center they were providing it so you can just take benefit of doubt that yes all the examination centers are going to provide it but my recommendation will be that you 
why to wait or why to rely on the examination center for that okay just uh, like if it is asked already so just take your thumb impression and put it over there and then go for the exam okay so that you don't get panic over there regarding thumb impression and all these things and your photograph i have already discussed so these are the certain things rest of the things you don't have to do anything in the exam like in your admit card you just have to take it like that yeah there were four pages of your admit card so how many pages print you have to take so see first page is mandatory okay that page is only mandatory if uh, you have taken a print out of the first page that is well and enough uh, you will not be asked to take print out of all the pages okay so first page is well and enough so yeah all the pages are not required first page which contains all the undertaking all your information that is enough for your examination okay so that's what it is all right so the next thing which we are going to talk about is your virtual calculator okay so is virtual calculator allowed or not so yes it was allowed for physical sciences student okay so for physical sciences the virtual calculator was allowed i reconfirmed from that person he said yes this time the virtual calculator was there and earlier they also don't used to get virtual calculator in the exam with that we can assume that for csir net also we are going to get this virtual calculator although i'm not 100 percent sure about it but i would say that there are 80 percent chances that you are going to get virtual calculator 20 percent chances are there that the paper or the examination will be as usual okay so there are 80 percent chances that you are going to get virtual calculator if you are getting virtual calculator is a good thing right you are getting like a virtual calculator which will help you for all the calculation things and all so yes but one more thing is there that virtual using virtual calculator is little tricky and we don't know what kind of virtual calculator they are providing because for gate we already have uh, like how the virtual calculator works for the gate and for that i have made a video so if you want to see that uh, you can check out that video in that i have explained how you have to use virtual calculator so i'll post the link of that in the i button okay but yeah there are 80 percent chances that yes virtual calculator will be given to you in the exam so these are two very important things okay virtual calculator now uh, before ending there i know there might be questions and you might be putting that in the comments that sir if the virtual calculator is allowed so what we can expect whether the physical 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 chemistry question are going to be tough or not so for that i have already made a video okay you don't have to worry about with the level of question or, or you don't have to worry about that is the exam is going to be difficult or easy you just have to do your part okay just prepare just revise just practice whatever you are doing so don't worry about the uh, the exam or how the exam is going to be don't worry about the that how the exam is going to be okay just like utilize your time in an efficient way that's what it is the rest all the things are up to the future event and let's all like let's all wish and pray that the exam is going to be fruitful to all of you all right so these two points i want, wanted to make very clear because i was getting a lot of questions from you all regarding this so virtual calculator was there in physical sciences but it is going to be there in chemical sciences or not i cannot say but there are 80 percent chances that it is going to be in chemical sciences as well so that's all for this video guys thank you so much for watching this video and i hope that uh, you don't have much questions after this but yet if you have any question you want to ask anything you can ask that down in the comment section below i would like to answer that over there so thank you so much for watching and have a great day bye, -bye.